Well, what's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? My name is Mr. Domrox, and I'm back again with another video. Now, I'm going to be a bit cynical, but I'm also going to point out some really good positives here. So I'm going to switch straight to the document, and you'll see exactly what I see. And this is all available online, and the link will be in the description to this, so you can read it for yourself, because I'm not going to read it out verbatim. So, today, um, Fallout 4 Bethesda have released an update. <coughs> And that update details just some key things about Fallout 4's future, what's going to be coming, what we, what we can expect. So regular updates, which will be not just fixes, but new features, which is cool, which is great. Adding new features as they develop them, as the community develops its mods and its passion for the game. And you know, they're all, there's already a passion for the game, that's why there's made a Fallout 4, because it's been... They've been calling for it. The community has been calling for it for a long time. I myself am a fan of Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas. I've played all the DLCs. I've played them with mods. I'm looking forward to it. The creation kit is coming. We know we knew it was coming. We knew it was going to come, but it's coming. And then the mods from created from that creation kit are then going to be uh, made available on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So, some of these same mods will then be coming to consoles, which is great. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we got Season Pass. So, all the above is great. New content, fantastic. New features, wonderful. Mods and Creation Kit, fantastic. But Season Pass. And this is where I'm going to get a bit cynical. And this is where, well, I hate myself, but it's true. In the past, and we've had it, we've had it with one game recently, Destiny, where they cut out content and then uh, put it behind a paywall and then gave it to us, which is shitty, to say the least. And people love Destiny. I've never played it, but people love Destiny, and then were cool with the fact that the content was then made available to them behind a paywall, which is a bit shitty, to be quite honest. But um, the season pass for Fallout 4 is going to be $30, um, and the content's going to be worth about at least $40, which sounds like a bargain. You're getting, you know, $30, well, $40 worth of content for $10 less. Wonderful. But the cynic in me is thinking, is this season pass and this content, this DLC, essentially stuff they cut from the game? and are then selling to us a later, at a later date. And the wording here, it makes it sound like, well, this, this content isn't available yet. It has not even been made, but they're going to be making it over the next 12 months. Eh, for the price, I can't really argue. I paid more for season passes and been let down by the content in the past. So we'll soon find out what and how this is gonna pay out, uh, pan out. Um, but still, just just being a bit cynical here, and even though I am, I pre-ordered Fallout 4. I've got a Pit Boy edition coming my way. Um, hopefully coming my way. I've definitely got my pre-order in, but it's just down to whether there is actually the stock there. But that's just me. So, yeah, season season pass. It was coming. We all knew it was coming. Most games do season passes and do DLC. But is it? really what it claims to be or is it just content that has been put behind a paywall that was already in the game in the first place we'll soon find out i i'm inclined to trust bethesda over most other game studios to be quite honest mostly because well they've not let me down i have paid much more for content in the past and then found out that it just wasn't really worth the money. Um, Ubisoft did it with me, did it to me with Assassin's Creed 2. I paid for content that, meh, to be quite honest, I didn't actually see the value in. But that's just me. <sighs> so yeah, that is pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you, thank you for watching. This is just my little rambly video. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button and um, comment and if you've got any questions or want to have a discussion with me I'm always available on Twitter to 
um, discuss this uh, dis discuss this subject and any other subject in regards to gaming. Um, that's at Mr. Don Rocks. The link in, is in the description. But yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.